Hi, my name is Vivek and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the 10th episode to create a WordPress website using our own custom theme. In the previous episode, we worked on testimonial block using custom post type UI. Today, we'll be working on future using widgets and iframe. First of all, let's find out where this future widget is coming from. So open your template file and then here you can see that the footer widget is coming from template parts and then footer menu widgets. So open that file. This is the template parts folder and then this is the footer menu widgets. Then the second thing I want to do is to add all of this content at the center. So let's add container div. I will add over here div class container. Refresh the site. And here we go. Now, according to our design, we just need this recent post and not this search and recent comment. So, to remove them, open your admin panel, go to appearance, and then click on widgets. So, in this footer number one, you can see three items over here search, recent post, and then recent comment so I don't need search so just click on delete and then I don't need this recent comment so you can delete this one as well and then the title name is recent post the title name is recent post so we don't have to do anything that's fine and then we have to show five items in recent post so make sure this number of posts to show is five over here once done, then you can just refresh the site. So currently we just have one post, so it is just showing one at the moment. But if there is more than five posts, then it will show only five posts over here. Likewise, let's remove this archive and meta from footer number two. So again, go back to your widget and then open footer number two and just click on drop down and then delete delete and then refresh and again we just have one category at the moment so you can just see one category over here but if you keep on adding more categories it will keep on showing over here finally Let's add Google Map in footer number 3. But currently, the problem is we don't have footer number 3. But don't worry, it is possible to create footer number 3 by adding some code. Open function.psb and then here you can search footer number so you can see footer number one is created over here and footer number two is created over here so copy any one of them and then you can say footer number three then again in the name you can say footer number three and then sidebar that's three okay so now if you go back to your widget base and then refresh you should see footer number three over here if you want to change the description then you can just change over here third column refresh and then it says widget in this area will be displayed in third column in the footer now what happened if you add some item over here let's add recent comment for example 
and then if you refresh it doesn't work because we still have to add few more quotes so now you can open this footer menu widget.php and here all we have to do is add the code for footer number 3 so what I will do is I will copy this line of code and then just rename it to has sidebar underscore 3 and then sidebar dash 3 so this sidebar 3 so it's the name of this ID actually so over here it says sidebar dash 3 so over here it should be sidebar 3 as well then we have to add one more has sidebar underscore tree in the if condition and then if you scroll down you have to add one more for footer number tree and then just copy one of this if condition and then just modify this one so this will be column 3 and then now if you refresh the site you should see recent comment over here here you go but in our design we need the google map so you can remove this uh, recent comment from footer number 3 and instead you can add this custom HTML because in this content part we can just paste our iframe code over here so this is just a Google map so if you go to Google map and copy the iframe you can simply paste over here and the name of the title is Google map so in this title box you can just say Google map so once done you can click on save and then refresh now you can see the Google map in this footer number 3 finally let's work on this copyright section and the first thing we need to do over here is to add them at the center so you can open the footer.psp and then just after the, the footer tag you can add the class container refresh and then we don't need this power by wordpress so it is coming from this code powered by wordpress so you can simply remove this code now our footer is looking exactly same as in our design great this is the end of this session in the next session we'll work on the about page feel free to comment below if you have any questions also please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials in the future thank you